Hi everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day. So today we're going to be testing the USB ports on our PS5 Slim. So here we have our PS5 Slim console. We have the USB-C charging cable for the controller that it came with, the PS5 controller, and our Klein ET920 tool. So let's turn on the PS5. All right, okay, so far so good. Uh, just out of curiosity, let's see how many bars. Okay, we have one bar on our PS5 controller, so that's good. All right, so here's our Klein ET920 tool. Let's plug it into the uh, USB-C. So we have two USB-C ports in front of the PS5 Slim console, it looks like. So as you can see here, there's no reading yet. What I noticed is for the USB-C, in order to get a reading, we need to plug in an accessory like a controller. So let's plug in our uh, controller here and let's see what readings we get. Okay, let me zoom in. So it looks like our reading right here is 5.10 volts. So I'm going to leave it plugged in for a few seconds longer just to see if there's any changes. So about a little over a minute in and we still have 5.10 volts. So let's unplug it and let us check the second USB-C port on the front. So USB-C right here. And the controller is already plugged in, so we are getting a reading of 5.06 volts. That is what we are getting for the second USB-C. Okay, let us check the back ports. So it looks like, let's move it right here. So here we have uh, two USB-A ports in the back. So USB-A ports, we should get a reading without plugging in the controller. But we're going to plug in the controller later too. So right now, no controller plugged in. We are getting a reading of 5.24 volts. Let's move on to the next one. We are getting 5.24 volts as well. Okay, let's plug in our controller and see what reading we get. So here's the first USB-A port. We're still plugged in. Let's plug in our controller. And it looks like we are getting a reading of 5.03 volts after plugging in our controller. So it looks like it's 5.02, 5.03 volts. Okay, let's try the other USB-A port. Okay, so USB-A a port here. With the controller plugged in, we're getting 5.03, 5.02 volts as well. All right, so, you know, let's try unplugging the controller again, see what happens. So if we disconnect the charging cable right here, let's unplug this. So after unplugging the controller, we have 5.24 volts. And, okay, let's try the other one. I'm just double checking. So right now we don't have a controller plugged in. Let's plug it in the USB-A port here. And, okay, so we have the controller unplugged in right now. 5.02, 5.03 volts. And let's unplug the controller. 5.24 volts. 
that is pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.